much as the dog in the window. Woof, woof. That's what I said. I don't know the lyrics actually, but never mind. Um, hi guys, it's Jamie here again, as you well know already. Um, back with another motor vlog for today. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try and get this one uploaded like tonight or early tomorrow morning, because um, I mean I'm currently on my way to my mother's house, uh, which is a, a, a fair bit of a ride away. Um, it's not too far, but. Yeah, um, I've gave my laptop uh, and all my wires and cables and stuff from my hard drive to my nan and she's on the way there too. Um, so she's got all that good stuff. Uh, so hopefully I can get to my mum's and edit a quick little something and get it out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you like, are all fine and dandy. All that good stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. How many times can you say stuff in one sentence? I don't know, but I definitely win. Um, so yeah, right guys, uh, a little plan, a little plan of action, a little POA um, of what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days while I'm off work. Uh, today is just going to be a quick little motor vlog. Um, just sort of going to roll with it. I haven't really got a, I haven't really got a. Uh, a topic as such but uh, I'm just gonna try and roll with it and see what happens and uh, hopefully it will turn out not too bad I've got a little bit of a, a bone to pick with this bike um, obviously getting it brand new it was you know it all needed bedded in properly um, you know, I couldn't just jump on it and expect to get the full potential out of it as it was brand new. Uh, but now I've had it for a, you know, a, a long... What's going on over there? It's like a big party or something. Anyway, um, you know, now that I've had it for, a, you know, a short while, uh, I think it's, it's, it's bedded in, you know, well enough anyway to sort of be able to pick out a few little niggles with it and uh, stuff like that. Um, so I've got an issue at the moment. Um, where yeah there you go it doesn't want to do it again uh, right yeah that's my issue basically um, changing from first into second gear you can click the gear shifter up and you can feel it click and engage into second and then as you release the clutch slowly you actually turns out that you're in neutral and then you end up like revving your engine, redlining it as you're trying to pull away from somewhere and then you just look a complete dick and it's dangerous and I don't understand why it does it it worked fine that time but um, yeah it's actually really really aggravating with this bike uh, I don't know for any of you guys that have got Lex Motors out there whether, whether it's um, uh, sort of a common thing that you guys find happening with your bikes or even not just Lex Motors even just every other sort of bike whether it be a big engine or a small engine it doesn't really matter because I've heard a few times um, a friend of mine say about the uh, about the uh, GSXR um, and he's mentioned a few times that especially when the engines are a bit colder than normal um, it doesn't want to seem to engage into gears properly, especially from going from gear one to two. It seems to do what I've just said, and it, it sort of shows you that it's engaged, and then you release the clutch slowly, and you're actually in neutral. Um, so I, I think it is not a common problem, but I think a lot of other people experience this problem anyway. Uh, but it, I'll just let, let me know what you guys, if you guys have experienced it, I hate people that don't use indicators. Indicators are there for a reason. Like this Mondeo in front of me. Oh, and that leads me on to another thing. What lane are you in? What lane are you in? You don't know what lane you're in because you don't know how to drive. Obviously, this lane is full of parked cars, so there is no point in straddling between the two lanes. I see, just pull in front of me. Don't worry. Douchebag. 
Um, oh yeah, just people annoy me, man. I'm really not a people person as of recently. But I'm looking to probably in the next few days, as I was saying earlier before I got sidetracked, um, I'm looking to get a couple of vlogs out, motor vlogs. Um, I want to try and get out on the on the Venom with my mate Chris probably tomorrow or the following day. Um, so, and I need to stop saying um because it's starting to annoy me. But yeah, uh, hopefully I can get out on the Venom, get you guys some content up of that, and um, give it a kind of mini review. Guys, I've been having a few questions off a few people um, just regarding the camera and mic I use. So what I'm probably going to do as well in a, a future video is do, do like a little kit sort of motor vlog. Well, not even a motor vlog really. Maybe just like a little side vlog of um, the kit I use and what it all is and why I've chose to use it and all that, all that gravy stuff. Um, so you can look forward to that too. Another little niggle with this bike is, is going to have to be the tyres. Um, I've, I've heard a lot of people say the same thing, that the tyres on the ZSX that they put on them as factory default. They aren't very grippy, they're not very good. Um, you can't really trust them or rely on them properly, which, as I found out in a few videos ago, uh, I found that out quite, quite badly, actually, by actually sliding off... Um, when really, I shouldn't have really slid off, not in them weather conditions. If it was icy and, and really extremely slippery, then, then you know, I, I could understand. But, I've just done it again. Stupid gears. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully looking to get uh, an upgrade for these tyres. Um, again, I don't know what you guys could recommend or suggest... But I've heard the uh, Michelin Road Pilot, I think they are. I've heard them tyres are really good. Um, they're pretty good for all sorts of bikes. Uh, but they are quite pricey. Um, and at the moment, I can't afford pricey. Because I am skint. For, you, for those of you that don't know what skint means, it basically means have no money. Uh, so yeah if you guys could suggest any upgrades for the tires that would be awesome um just let me know maybe what you guys use or what you guys know that other people use and i can have a look get some research done and get the tires swapped out aside from all the niggles i do have with this bike i still love it i still would highly recommend a lexmoto zsx to anybody um i couldn't really give you any other recommendations for any of any of the other Lex Motos um, but seriously if you guys are thinking about getting a little 125 to start off with uh, whether you're going to go to a bigger bike or whether you just need a, a 125 as a little commuter bike or something I would highly 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 recommend one charity car wash here well, that's uh, one way to promote your charity car wash, I suppose. Stand on the side of the road and wave your arms. <sighs> ah, dear. I can't wait for the day I get my R6. Ooh, the fun. So, I'm almost at my mother's house. Uh, hopefully, I've managed to squeeze in enough stuff to make it a decent length video for you guys. Um, once again, apologies if it's been a bit boring or a bit slow, a bit dull or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it, of course. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.